you guys see this? See this? See this? <clears throat> this is what happens when you fly your drone into a tree. What's up guys, Burley here. Today, we need to fix this. We're, welcome to an episode of BIY, Burley It Yourself. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this guy. We're going to do a tear down of the DJI Phantom 3. We're going to go ahead and replace the plastic pieces that I broke last week when it flew it into a tree. Flew it into a tree really hard. Like, really hard. Pieces from Amazon showed up, so let's go ahead, take a look at this. Let's rip it apart. Let's put it back together. Here we go. There she is in all her glory. Plastic pieces need to come off. We need to take the internal components out of there. We need to rebuild and replace the gimbal attachment here for the camera. First thing I did when I crashed the drone after ordering the pieces on Amazon, I went to my local fries and I picked up a couple of iFixit kits. I feel like this was the first thing I thought of. I'm going to need some specialty bits. I'm going to need some iFixit kits. So I got the 64 bit driver kit. I also got the electronics toolkit. These are uh, both fairly decently priced, high quality kits. Um, these are not sponsored by iFixit. I paid for these with my own money. So let's go ahead and take this apart. So I've watched a couple of videos on this. The first thing we need to do is we need to remove the gimbal itself with the camera and set that aside. This cable already came out so that's I guess one step close to being done so let's go ahead and open this kit up and let's take a look alright we got the iFixit kits open wanted to show you guys this real quick look at this that's nice high quality plastic there go ahead and get this guy open and there she is magnetic covers four magnetic uh, well, four magnets actually on both sides help keep this kit together look at all those bits 64 bit here and we got we went ahead and I really like the quality of this opening up the electronics one here again nice high quality plastic oh pieces are falling out I got this one because I wanted the little you know tweezers and all of that good stuff so that's why we got this kit as well being able to kind of get the little pieces that we need, maybe help separate any of the the hard plastic, you know, that is kind of crimped together, things like that. So let's go ahead and get this guy put back in here, nice and secure. So we're going to go ahead and use both kits. We're going to use the electronics kit. We're going to use the 64-bit kit. So we'll go ahead and leave those out over here, and we'll go ahead and and put this guy in the two boxes here. All right, so first things first, what we need to do is we need to get this gimbal out of here. So we're gonna go ahead, this one already broke on this side, so we just need to go ahead and release the clip here. I'll grab the screwdriver and flathead bit. This is a nice curled grip here, knurled grip, whatever they say. Feels good and smooth to spin. You know, very easy. This is uh, actual metal, probably steel. I'm not sure exactly. You know, with the nice iFixit brand there. So iFixit, if you're watching and you want to send me some of these, I'd be more than happy to accept them. So what we have here are two plastic pieces, locking plastic washers here. I think ideally what we're going to do is maybe just try and release everything that's in here. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of loosen some of these plastic pieces, plastic locking. This is a plastic locking nut on here. So go ahead and start to stab ourselves and getting our the end of our bit in here. Looks like we're almost got it come all the way off go ahead and 
continue to pull this out. So that's almost loose. I think ideally what I need to do, since I have multiple of these, I bought a whole bag. And I'm not going to reuse this one. We'll just end up breaking this piece off of here. What I'll do is go ahead and pause the video while we wait for this one. I'll bring you guys back here in just a second. Okay, so I was able to get that piece off. So now what we need to do is we need to take the screws out of here and take this little door off as well as on the opposite side as well. There's another one here on this side. So we can take those little screws off. We're going to pop the door off of there. So go back here to our iFixit set. Find a little tiny Phillips screwdriver. I have little tiny spiders growing in my garage or my, my shed. That's kind of scary. I'm going to have to get some spider spray and fumigate in here because I don't like little tiny spiders. So here we go. This little guy should fit. That fits just fine. Go ahead now and put this guy back here. Gonna take these little screws off. Gonna take this little screw off. Gonna remove this little plastic piece since we don't have a warranty on here. The only thing that I wish is that this set was, oh, there's a little door there, and here, go ahead and set that aside, try to get these screws to pop out. There's one, there's two, underneath here is a little antenna receiver, so what I'm going to do now is grab my little tweezers. I'm going to grab this piece here, trying not to damage anything. There we go. That piece just kind of fits right on top. We'll go ahead and repeat that when we get done I'll bring you guys back in okay we've got the camera and the gimbal off of there so we'll go ahead and set that aside now I'm hoping that this part isn't damaged I do not know until I get in there and actually get this taken apart so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab our kit again I think that's all of the Phillips heads we're going to need, so we'll go ahead and look for some, excuse me, Torx bits. I believe the Torx bits that we're going to need are going to be a 6 and an 8. screws here. I'm going to find the right bit for those. I believe we have we have a lot of bits. Are you a 6 or are you an 8? So it's not a 6. What we're looking for is the 8. Here it is. So, four screws here. They're Torx screws, T8. 
go ahead and take this piece off. This was one of the pieces that got damaged during the flight into the tree. So, four screws later, we're going to go ahead now take this piece off. Screw. So, we have this piece to replace. I'm going to go ahead and put those four screws here. Careful not to damage any of the antennas or the main connector to the camera here as we pull this through. And we're going to go ahead and set that there. Alright, so the next pieces that we're going to take off are the landing gears. So inside the landing gears, we have an antenna on this side. We have an antenna on this side as well as a compass. So we're going to go ahead and start by taking our tweezers and I bent them already. Slowly going to grab our antenna and remove it. Trying not to damage it at all. I'll bring you guys back when we get the landing gear off. Okay, so here in this landing gear is a door, and behind that door is a compass. So we're going to go ahead and use, I believe, our T6 screw here and take off that. Go ahead now and do that. And then removing the, the two landing gear. Oh, that's actually smaller. Just kidding. I have the wrong screw bit. But it is smaller than a T6. Let's go ahead and try a T5. Well, it helps use the right bit because that is a Phillips head bit. <laughs> so, go ahead and grab a Phillips head bit. Here's a little Phillips head. So I was having a little bit of difficulty getting the landing gear off. Looks like they did put a little bit of caulking back there. So we'll go ahead now. Take this door off. Nice and slow. Trying not to damage anything. Take my uh, little plunger tool here. Maybe, there we go, <coughs> and so inside here is the compass, we'll go ahead and remove that, now pulling nice and slow on this cable, not to damage it at all, and same thing up here, grabbing this little board here. on there as well so we'll go ahead and pause our video get this out and bring you guys back in just a second okay I was able to get the compass out there it is I'm gonna go ahead now and take off the other landing gear so there's one Antenna here as well as the compass and we'll be 
reusing these two parts. So, what's next is we have about six, two, four, six, eight, and then two more, excuse me, four more all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and start move, moving these, and I'll bring you guys back in in just a second. Alright, now what we're going to do is underneath the motors is four more T8 screws on all the sides. So we'll go ahead and grab our T8 bit and start taking these out. These are what hold the motors into place to the drone body. So when we get all these taken out, what I'll do is bring you guys back. Okay, so at this time what we're going to do is going to go ahead and flip the drone over. Remember that we did just take all the screws out of the four motors so do that carefully and at this time what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to peel back these stickers because of the joint here what I'm going to do is just take a razor knife and cut them because I'm not going to be using this body again <coughs> and I have more stickers in the uh, inside so take a razor knife here slowly cutting the sticker Making sure it goes all the way through on all four sides, and then what we'll do is we'll take the top off. So, see you soon. Okay, so we separated the top from the bottom. There is one piece here that we need to disconnect. It is the GPS sensor. So we'll go ahead and disconnect that as we kill spiders. So, going ahead now, disconnecting this piece here. Maybe you can use the pliers to grab it. that from there so we'll go ahead and slowly peel off all of this inside protective shielding here and expose the GPS sensor we'll make sure to put that on the new top part which is sitting over there on the shelves and I stabbed myself so that was fun okay so four excuse me four four motors here a lot of times what they'll say to do next is to unplug everything and unsolder it all we're not going to do that all we're going to do really is just pull everything out swap it over to the new body so let me go ahead and get this table cleaned up a little bit and we'll grab the body and we'll see you soon all right guys that's going to conclude this video here of the dji phantom 3 standard uh teardown where we went ahead and got everything out Luckily, we're going to try to make it so that we don't have to unsolder any of these wires because that means I have to go buy a soldering iron. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Put some, some comments down below what you guys thought. And uh, wish me luck. Hopefully, this thing flies when we're done. All right, guys. Till next time.